All right, so in today's video, we're gonna talk about some things that you need to know before coming to Canada. I've already been here for some years, so I would like to share my experience with you guys. So let's jump into it. How is the weather in Canada? Generally speaking, it's cold. This is a very cold country, so it goes from scorching to freezing. Like I'm here in Winnipeg and you can have temperatures around minus 40 degrees Celsius in the winter time. And right now it's around 30 degrees Celsius in the summertime. Extreme heat spreading through Manitoba. A hot weekend is expected for most of the province as an upper ridge builds across the prairies. Highs in the low to mid 30s can be expected. Extreme cold warning issued for all of Manitoba as temperatures plummet. Frostbite could occur in minutes with wind chill values expected to be colder than minus 40. So get ready for that, just keep in mind that the summer is very short, it's just three months. The summer officially starts on June 21st and ends on September 21st, that's all you get. The temperatures can be a little bit hot in July, but that's all you have, the rest of the year is gonna be cold. You need to be strong mentally because it's not for everybody. That's why some people have to go back because they don't enjoy winter. And some people are just thinking about summer. Summer is actually just three months. And if you're just gonna be thinking about that, you're not gonna be happy here. If you don't like cold weather, you should consider coming to Canada. very hot today it's not usually like this I think I need a break I think I'm dehydrated right now I need to drink some water and look for a shelter or something I encourage you to enjoy every single season. Enjoy all the seasons of the year. It's beautiful when we get the first snowfall. It's beautiful when spring starts. It's beautiful when, well, I don't like fall that much, but I try to enjoy it. <laughs> yes, I found the perfect spot for me. Keep in mind that Canada is a multicultural country. You will find people from everywhere. We are gonna find obviously a lot of people from China and from India because those country has one of the biggest um, population in the world. Something that you should know is that people are very polite they don't tell you things like directly as the way they tell you that in other countries they just try not to hurt your feelings and people have manners all right so in canada we speak english or french so if you're thinking about coming to canada well, do your best to improve your English skills or your French skills. Otherwise, it's gonna be more difficult. I highly recommend you to study hard. 
you have a very good English, you're gonna find a better job, you're gonna find better opportunities, and it's gonna be better for you. So work on that before coming here. That's key to your success in Canada. I would say that the first year in Canada is not easy because you, you're gonna be facing with a lot of new things like a different culture, a different weather, city, uh, people. So you will have to adapt to many things in the first year. Obviously you're gonna go through a roller coaster of emotions. You need to be humble here in Canada because when you come here as an immigrant you're not gonna be the person that you used to be in your country. What I try to say is that um, nobody knows you here. Nobody knows who you are. When you arrived in Canada, you can either find a job or start your own business. Finding a job, in my personal experience, it was really good. There are different websites that I could recommend like Indeed, LinkedIn, and you can apply directly in the websites of the companies if you wish. If you don't have a LinkedIn account, you can just start opening a free account today and start connecting with people because that's gonna help you. There are different kind of workers. You can be either a blue collar worker or a white collar worker. A blue collar worker would be a person who performs a manual work. Let's say an electrician or somebody cleaning the snow, a plumber or things like that. The white collar workers is a person who performs desk managerial work. Let's say somebody in, in an office eight hours a day just in front of a computer doing things like that. That would be a white collar worker. Depending on your skills and your profile, you select what you want to do here in Canada. It doesn't matter if you want to do those manual works. There is nothing wrong about that. And just to let you know, those people make a lot of money if you are just thinking about money. But obviously, if you're a professional, you don't want to do those kind of things. That's gonna depend on the profile of each person. But it's okay if you wanna do those kind of jobs. I mean, here in Canada, people see, see you as a person. We respect people for what they are, not because of a title. You can be the president, you can be the plumber, we are the same. We actually could be living in the same neighborhood and you never know. In Canada, we don't send just a resume to the employers. We need to send the resume along with the cover letter. So keep that in mind because in other countries, people just send the resume and it's okay. And they, they get called for an interview. Here, it's very important to add a cover letter explaining why you think you're a good match for that position. All right, so I hope that you have liked this video. These are the things I can think of before coming to Canada. Just keep those things in mind. Um, there are many things that I would like to say, but it's so hot today that I just need to go back home. 
I need to go to the swimming pool and uh, it's so hot today guys uh, extremely hot not used to this anymore <laughs> so talk to you later